Rob Alvey from Theme Park Review here, and we are on a super secret mission. This is the double, no, triple exclusive tour of the brand new X2 trains. X2 trains. There is really a train underneath the garbage bag, right? There is a train. Part of the train. Ah, you guys didn't need that anyway. Very sexy. Yeah, what do you think of the train though? Almost as sexy as Neil. <laughs> Tim Burkhart, general manager, is that right? Yep. So tell us a little bit about the trains and probably the most dramatic features that you guys changed. The, uh, the biggest things we did on these trains to improve them over the first generation X was to go in and uh, evaluate where we needed more strength and where we could afford to lighten things up. Uh, our goal here was twofold. One, to improve the reliability of the train, and second, to improve the, uh, the functionality of it. Old trains, new train. Old train, new train. Old train over there, new train over here. One of the biggest places that we were able to, to find some weight savings combined with some strength improvements is in what we call the pickle spoons. And this particular structure, while it looks like it would be a lot heavier and a lot beefier than the pickle forks on the first generation train, they're actually significantly lighter. So taking the weight out of this suspended cantilever assembly was one of the highest priorities we had. So you think uh, outside riders will get just as smooth a ride as the inside guys? I think you're always going to find a difference um, between a heavy rider on the outside and no rider on the inside. All those combinations are all still going to show a difference because that heavier rider, that heavier weight on the outer edge of the cantilever tends to dampen the vibration. But I will tell you that I'm 100% confident that overall it's going to be a much smoother ride no matter what combination of weights you have in the train. So my fat butt on the outside is completely screwed. I want you on the outside when I run on the inside. <laughs> Thanks. So we've been hearing reports about fiberglass, no fiberglass. Tell those fiberglass enthusiasts uh, what the story is. You gotta love people who love glass. Uh, the train as you see it is missing one piece of plastic that uh, is not installed right now and it's what we call the elephant ear that sits inside the pickle spoon alongside the gearbox assembly so that you can't get your hands into anything that might pinch them. Uh, there are no fiberglass X covers over the uh, rack and pinion gears like we had before. Those were all efforts to save weight. So some of our internet know-it-alls are going to speculate that SNS maybe designed the trains too heavy and they're pulling weight off it. Is that true or not true? The trains as you see it right now are exactly to the design specifications. There have been no modifications to the original design. And SNS will tell you that's given them a fair degree of heartburn as we've gone through the process because we would not allow any deviations from the design, uh, particularly where it was going to add weight or uh, have us go and redo um, the structural assumptions. So this myth is busted? That myth is busted entirely. Great. Another neat feature we did on this train was we completely redesigned the restraint mechanisms and the restraint actuations. And we've gotten away from the mechanical system that ran with cables and levers and foot pedals and actuators in the station floor and went to a completely onboard pneumatic system that uh, actuates the, the mechanism with air pressure. It is operated by the ride operator. It's a push of a button if somebody needs to move from one seat to another seat or adjust their harness to be fitting properly. So I think in the end, it's gonna add a fair amount of capacity and throughput improvement to the ride. Great. So did you guys make any changes to the wheels? Or are they still roll just the same? Still round. They are still round. Yeah. We went in and enhanced and perfected it. Um, we're not going to use the forged wheels anymore. All the wheels are now 100% cast, which was the original intent for the ride. So in somewhere underneath that trash bag is more X2 train. So if you ever wanted to know what a live X change operation looked like, there you go. See, it's going from Nice, pretty yellow to mean red and black. Anything else you guys want to tell your audience out there? No, come back and ride it. Coming soon to a theme park near you in spring of 08.